Hey, a lot of people here. Sorry, bro. I, I wasn't hearing a question. Should record it. It's all good. A lot of people, you didn't think I was going to bring that, that fire today? Damn, bro. <laughs> 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 all right, from the top. Come on now. Wait, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Action. Action. Talk about the mindset yeah. one more time. Hey, here's it all the time. So like, one more time. time. Repeat that. <laughs> mindset. The mindset needs to change, right? Like, again, it's the truth, though. It really is. You guys have to make sure that your money is working for you first okay period regardless of what investment houses iras mutual funds life insurance it doesn't matter okay so um but i was what i was trying to get to with the telemarketing right and the stress a lot of the folks that i have sat down with okay from uh, i remember specifically city of san jose sitting down with the guy he literally was a, a, a ditch digger right made like 18 19 bucks an hour that's when he started um, and I, that same day, I actually met with the city attorney. And if you looked at both of their accounts, the ditch digger had almost as much as the city attorney, even though the city attorney was making about five to six times the amount. Why? Because that ditch digger had been spending his money, had been contributing to his 457 for 30 years. He started at $25 a month. And now he had over half a million dollars in his account. Where that city attorney making 300 grand a year had about about the same a little less but she had started or no he had started about 10 years before so you can see it doesn't matter about the income right it matters about the consistency it matters about where you're putting your money so that ditch digger may not have been educational you know education wise may not have had what that city attorney had but when it came to finances he understood that his money needs to work for him so Every one of us in here, well, except for my staff for 1099, right? Is everyone in here 1099? Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, okay. So raise of hands. Who has a retirement account here? Okay. I'm sorry, brother. What's your name? Tony. Tony, what type of account do you have, Tony? Uh, traditional uh, SEP IRA. You have a traditional, you have a SEP IRA. Okay. Can you explain to the group what that is? Uh, just a minimal, just small, just a minimal <laughs> It's a self-employment retirement account. So SEP means self-employment person retirement account. Okay. Now, why did you get that? Uh, first, tax defer. Second, saving tax. Perfect. So there's a man who knows more than 95% of the population. Most people don't know what a SEP IRA is. and Most people don't know what tax deferred is. That's smart. That's good. Are you putting money into it? Good for you. Max. Max, you're maxing it. Okay. The majority, the rest of you, none, right? Now, I, know, so there, I know there's some hitters in here too. <laughs> I know there's some people making money in here too. And this is what I'm talking about. And I'm not knocking anybody in here, but I'm a passionate person. So don't, don't, don't misconstrue my passion for getting on anyone. But this is where it ends. This is where your money needs to work for you. And doesn't even have to be a lot of money. So I give you guys a packet. Now we're going to talk about a little bit of the product. Enough with the motivational speaking. Go. Right? So, so number one, everybody's heard an IRA, right? Rob in there? Yeah. Rob's right there. Um, I, don't, I, I, I didn't put an IRA in there because that's pretty simple. Right, and, 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 I, and I will have actually Andrea give those to you. I couldn't print out more. I didn't want you guys to have this big old binder worth of stuff. So here's one of the things that we offer folks here to sit down with us, to sit down with me or my staff and we go over your finances. We try to budget out for every individual. What are they making? What is the right number that they should have, be put, that they should be putting away? So this is not like a just, um, I'm just throwing a general thing out there. This is, this is a specific thing. Now, this may be a general product, but if you guys give me a call, you guys give me an hour of your time, I promise you, you will leave that hour thinking I have a better feel for where I'm supposed to go with my budget, with my financial life, right? Everybody is in here to make money, but is everybody in here to have money when they're in their 50s or 60s? Which one is it? Are we just making money now? Or is it for later? Which one's smart? Now or later? Later. Or, 
right? Or maybe for now and later, because I like that candy, right? <laughs> so, it's, right? Like you can have both. You can be both. I made that up on the fly, by the way. So um, <laughs> it could be both. Andre hears this all the time. She oh, uh, oh, she's hiding. Yeah, no, she left. She didn't want to hear it. So, um, um, but it's true, right? Like you can have some fun now. You know, God gives you today. But here's the average age that people live in Cal in America: eighty-seven for a female, eighty-four for a male. Damn, we're screwed. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. You think about that. It's all good now when you're in your 20s and 30s. And then when you're in your 50s and 60s, you're like, damn, telemarketing night. Right? Because <laughs> you don't have that money built up. You don't have that equity built up. So starting something like this is, is, is I wanted you guys to see that this is not specific to you guys. This is just a general thing that's out there. Most folks don't realize that we have products out there. Um, so this is a, a life insurance policy. Can you please raise your hand and tell me, anybody in here, tell me what a life insurance policy is. What is life insurance? One person. It's just insurance in case you pass away, right? Like you pass away, you have like a set amount that goes to your family or to whoever you have on the, on the will basically, right? Yeah, okay. Kinda. That's a one element, but yeah, that's good. At least you raise your hand. Anybody else? Protection. Pr protection. Okay, kind of like what 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 Antonio, right? Alfredo. 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 Yeah. Sorry. Same. Same. Uh, sorry, sorry. Okay. Um. Okay. What else? Go ahead, brother. Uh, can you use it to like defer taxes and stuff? Like, you're, I oh, you're close. I knew the pink shirt was doing something for you. Right? <laughs> so, so any man that can wear a pink shirt is smart. So, you know, I know that. So, yes, close. You're still close. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll end it here. A lot of people do not realize that this is, to me, the best product in the world. Outside of real estate, this is where the wealthy put their money. Because most people think of life insurance as protection, right? Which it is, right? You I have three kids, I die, Andrea gets money so she can go buy more purses, right? That's really what happens. That's what most people think of life insurance as, right? It's true. Um, but, it, but the last 20 years, they have developed different types of policies and these policies actually make you money. Yes? Tax free. Tax free. Ian, you need to talk. So you can be my advocate here for these youngins, you know, tell them this stuff. Tax free. Who likes taxes? No, no, no. Some of them have them haven't paid taxes yet, bro. Some oh, of them are, no, some of them are gonna have their first year of paying a lot in taxes. Zahara. Hey man. All right. Hey, when you get a fifty thousand dollar tax bill at the end of the year, when you're looking at it, you're going. Wait, tax evasion is legal, right? <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. West, 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 right? So, <laughs> right? Well, go to other countries. So, so let me just say this. This. But let me make this very clear. This particular solution is, has nothing to do with tax deferral. I didn't bring that one up. We have IRAs that can give you some kind of tax. The SEP IRA is amazing for that. I didn't want to put too much on you folks today. Personal. That's one on one. That's more one on one. Yeah, there's a reason I'm good at my job, right? <laughs> Give you guys everything now. You guys ain't gonna call me. So uh, no, there's ways to defer, especially for 1099 folks that are much, much more aligned with what you guys can do as far as taxes. This is for long-term stuff because any person that has a 401k, an IRA, a 457, you have to pay what on those when you take the money out? Taxes. taxes. So what we're trying to do again is change the mindset. Put your money to work for you. Put your money in a product, a solution that when you're 50, 60, 70, you have hundreds of thousands of dollars in this tax-free. Because remember, we don't want to be telemarketing at 60 years old. We don't want to be, and God, I'm not making fun of these people. You don't want to be the 78-year-old at Walmart, right? That's working there because they have to. And I'm telling you, ask Enrique, you can ask me. I know people that make hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars and have nothing to show for it. And they've been making that for years. You got a nice car, though. Got a nice car? Have a nice house, and that's it. Nothing else. It's amazing to me. 
amazing to me. And I've seen it over and over. And I do not want any of you to be in that position. So I want you guys to look at this illustration. Just look at, um, you know what? Do we have an extra one, Delina? Or Scott, do you have one? Henry, can you one? Okay. Okay. Now, what I did for you guys, and again, these are just general numbers, guys and ladies. All right. But for a, and the median age in here, I found out was about 32, 33, which is why I put 32, right? Okay. So sorry for all those younger than below that. Who's hey, the, the median <laughs> age? <laughs> Well, I mean, was, wait, was, well, some of these guys just got their driver license, bro. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? Then? This is even better because your money is going to grow faster for you. Yeah. Okay, so so somebody that put two hundred dollars away, two hundred bucks. I mean, what? That's a night out in the town with Enrique at Starbucks. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> come on, two hundred bucks, right? This is where my selling starts. So I'm just going to go to this page here. And I want you guys to look at page six. It's the only page I'm gonna have you guys look at, so. There he is. Oh my God, I've been waiting for him. <laughs> Nobody here today. <laughs> What's up, brother? How you doing? So, look at age, look at page six. Look at age 35. This is for a 32 year old male, okay? Putting $200 away a month. You have over $100,000. Look at it where it says total paid up additions on your far right side. It says $100,895. For $200 a month, you are getting over a hundred thousand dollars tax free. Now you look at the angle. Well, that's in my sixties. Well, actually, look at that. That's in my yeah. That's in my sixties. Well, come on now, man. That's only a hundred grand. What was that going to do for me? It's two hundred bucks a month. It's two hundred dollars a month. That's nothing. That's nothing. So, um. I don't want to go over all the rest of them with you. I put one in there for 200. I put one in there for, all right, well, actually, we only did a $200 for this one. Two, three, there's, is there, there's a three and four? Yeah. Where's the three and four at? Mm. Oh, got it. I have the four right here. Yeah, the four right there? Okay. Well, well they're, they're fine. They're, they're fine right now. I'll show them the $200 because that's honestly, a very small amount. So, and I'm not even showing you guys the IRAs. The IRAs were actually about two times the amount, but I wanted to at least show you guys this because there's no fees, there's tax free, and I like tax free. The IRAs are taxable. I'm not saying there's not a place where the IRAs should be, right? But I'm looking at this and I look and say 200 bucks a month, 100 grand. Now, if you did $400, then you got 200 grand, 300 grand. That's just depending on the market. I try to, to piggyback, I try to mimic what other successful people do, okay? And I've been around a lot of people that are way more successful than me. And I look at how they handle their money. This is why I buy so much real estate, why I go through the painstaking process of moving, of uplifting my family, of uprooting my family, and Andrea yelling at me, and Enrique trying to charge me five points, and all this <laughs> stuff, right? Because I know that real estate will always be a great investment. We're just playing, doing that. So, um, but, uh, so, I'm just just uh, so, so no, I'm, I, uh, it's it's a lot of work, right? It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work saying every single month I'm gonna put three, four, five hundred dollars a month away, especially when that's hurting you. It hurts, right? But eventually it pays off. And for most of us, there will be an eventually, right? There will be a I'm 65, 70 years old. And we want to make sure that this is just one part of your assets. This is another income stream for you. You have the house, you have the IRA, you have a life insurance policy. And who wants to have, a, who has kids in here? Okay, great. Who wants to have kids? Come on, you raise your hands, all good. Hey, raise your hand, bro. Come on. Got to go out there. So, for you folks too, 
what Alfredo said, it's protection. You're not going to get better rates than when you're younger. And I'm not trying to push a pop product. Remember, I make a commission on this. I want to sell you this product, but I really care more if you just learn the mindset, if you're sold on the mindset. If you guys go somewhere else and do it, then don't call me again. But at least, <laughs> but still, at least you're doing it. At least you're changing that mindset. And if you guys ever need any recommendation, any advice, anything at all, then you can call. You can give me a call and I'll chat with you. And I'm not all about money. You know, I made enough in real estate. I'm good. So, uh, <laughs> no, I'm not all about like just, hey, I'm trying to make a commission off you guys. Right? I want you guys, we're trying to educate you. If Enrique thought that this was just going to be a sales job, I would have been here. Yes, sir. Would you say What's that? your name first, brother? I want Emmanuel. Emmanuel, okay. I heard about you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I was Good wondering things. if our other companies, like their policies and plans, are they competitive? Are they basically the same or? Okay. Yeah, so I can see and go, State Farms, Jesus Christ, I've been sure companies, <laughs> and we're great. Now, listen, they're all basically the same. What is important is not the product or the company. What's important is who you're working with. Damn, oh, just good. like here. Damn, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> it's true though, right? Like, Shout out in hey, who's in Tarot? They're huge, right? Who's who's Coldwell Banker? They're huge. I'll go to PRG any day of the week because I get, I feel like I'm like that's my family. Like they're gonna go above and beyond, right? So yeah, State Farm is a big name. Right? It's just another name, right? But the, and our rates, the, I'll, I'll answer this like this this way: Are we first or second? Right? Life. Life. Yeah. Second. Wow. And the entire uh, the first. Okay. Who knows State Farm for life insurance? <laughs> what do you guys know State Farm for? Car insurance. Shut up. It's Jake. It's Jake. Or Come or on. It's or whatever his name is. Whatever. Or Drake. Jake. Now. Jake. Jake. Jake and Drake. But you guys, that's what you know them for. We're number two in life insurance. And there's a lot of insurance companies. So are we competitive? Of course we are, but they all are. But it's really, how much am I putting into this product or the yeah. solution? Why am I doing it? Am I doing it just because he sounds good? Or am I doing it because it's actually the right thing? So that's... So what would really like make the difference between like someone like you and another agent? Like what would, what would <laughs> determine like a good... What makes the difference between you and the agent from Redfin, bro? Yeah. Yep. Hey, I'm going to tell you this. And, and, the, and the good so. Lord, I pray that you... you I'm, I'm trying to humble myself here. I'm amazing yeah. at my job. Not with Emmanuel, bro. Give him the right. 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 I, I, What I bring to the table is much more than like, okay, like Enrique, right? I'm just going to put, because you guys know, Enrique's not a realtor. Enrique's done loans. He's done loan mods. He's done real estate. And he's flipped homes. What else can he do outside of commercial? Buy drunk. Drive a boat. <laughs> right? yeah. Yeah. sinking Five boats sinking. <laughs> I can drive a sinking boat oh, good, bro. <laughs> right? so you look at me and that's the same way I started as an insurance agent I became uh, a financial advisor a registered rep and now I'm doing park property and casualty so every single thing I have seen right like every every from every angle I can deal with the 100 millionaire I can deal with someone who's making 15 bucks an hour so it's yeah, really serious, important. Right? That's what makes me different from your average schmuck out there that's going to try and sell you a life insurance policy. Yeah, but you got you got your series, right? You have your well, you know, baby, I got the no. Seven, tell them, no. Well, 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 I but I don't want to make it about me, right? I don't, do. don't want to impress. Do. But yes, I have. <laughs> so so you have financial advisors, right? The registered reps, and you have me. Mm -hmm. I'm an investment advisor. I'm a fiduciary. I have a series seven. I have a sixty six. You know, I manage a billion dollars mm. at. Boya, two years ago, $1.2 billion of money that I managed. It's not about me. It's about you guys, right? Like I can sit here, flop all day long and flip my lips and because, you know, I'm from the East side. So I got a game. I got a mouthpiece. <laughs> I know how to game, you know, but don't listen to me. Listen to yourself and listen to the product, yeah. right? So did that, did that do it for you, Manuel? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, bro. And I, hey guys, I'm gonna. I want to second. I want to second that, guys. You are. <laughs> I want to second this, guys. You guys know, like, our time is valuable, right? So when when I bring someone in here to our office, I'm not gonna bring someone in here that's not gonna give value to our team because it's a fucking waste of time, right? Um, we 
we could be on the phones right now closing yeah. deals and booking appointments, right? So when I bring someone in, it's because it's gonna, you know, hopefully change your mindset, hopefully get you guys to open your eyes of like, you gotta invest your money, right? It's you, a lot of you guys are coming up. A lot of you guys are making commissions now. A lot of you guys have been making commissions. It's like, now what are you doing with that money? How are you gonna set yourself up for the future? In the beginning, when I first started, guys, I didn't know a lot of this stuff, right? I was a 21 year old dude, closing deals, making money. When I was like 23, I grossed 500 grand, right? Spent it all, spent it all, freaking didn't pay my taxes, all kinds of stuff, right? Like, so I've made the mistakes, right? And it wasn't until I've had to go through the trial and error and learn and get educated that I'm finally like, all right, I gotta play this game a little bit different, right? Um, so that's the thing, guys. It's, it's just a matter of with Steve, he's been around the block. He's seen it all. He's been through the ups and downs. He's purchased property. He's managed money. He's done all this stuff. So you're going to get a lot more education from him and a lot more of the real game and like not the fluff. As you see, he's pretty, he's a pretty straightforward dude. And that's how he, that's how he is. Um, then just going to someone and opening up a life insurance policy, right? He's actually a financial advisor that can tell you which products to put your money in. Which is why I even thought about not even giving you guys this because it looks like I'm pushing one product and I'm not. It may not be that one. No, it may not, be something no. different for you. It's just I want to open your eyes to see what's out there because that's why I asked the question about life insurance. People don't get it. Who's heard of OG, real, real quick and then we guys are done because I want you guys to get back in producing. Who's heard of OJ Simpson? Yeah. Right? The juice. Right? Um, do you know how, whether he killed up those, that poor couple or not, that's not my business. Um, but, but his, he got found guilty or not guilty of the conviction, but he got found guilty of, um, of, um, I don't know the exact terminology, but he was found guilty for, for not, it was, a uh, for liability only. It wasn't, it wasn't, he didn't get convicted for it per se, but he got found guilty for some. Damages. Right. So, so basically he had to pay out X a million, millions of dollars. Right. However, the reason I tell you all this is because he had a huge life insurance policy and he had millions of dollars apparently in that life insurance policy that the federal government is not allowed to touch. It's the only asset that cannot be touched or garnished from the federal government. So that's how he was living his life. That's how he was still doing his thing. And so I'm not saying, I'm just showing you like rich people, athletes, celebrities, they put their money in these things. If they're doing that and they have the best of the best advisors and CPAs and tax people, why are they doing it? So be like them, right? Mimic them, right? So do what you guys got to do. Give me a call. Um, a really quick question, a really quick last statement. Enrique actually used to go to Vegas with no luggage. <laughs> no luggage. What, what are you doing, bro? We're going to Vegas. Where's your stuff at? I'm gonna buy it over there. <laughs> Everything. I mean, that was one everything. time. Relax. <laughs> that fits my narrative, though. That's the point, though. That's the mindset. Like, and I'm glad that he understands because we all do stuff when we're young. But there's a lot of young people in here, so don't do it. Put your couple hundred dollars, stop drinking Starbucks and put some money towards yourself, right? You laugh because you know yeah. it. So, hey, guys, thank you very much. Mom, you passed out all the cards, Alina. Okay, so, and really quick again, I have Scott, I have Delina. These guys are helping your, your clients. So, um, and I trust them um, that they're, obviously I'm overlooking them all the time, making sure that we're talking to them, to your clients properly, we're not just selling them. Um, and what I would ask too is, we are the last request you guys are giving us your clients which i thank you for you're trusting us with your clients why don't you guys trust us at least with the quote you know we do the auto we do the home we're the best at the best of pnc there's no obligation just like with your clients but it would do it would be nice to to try and help you guys with your guys policies yeah right so so why don't we, just run, run through that real quick so you cover the yes. home, the auto, what exactly, what exactly so, can they come to you so for? With, yeah, so the home, the auto, the uh, the umbrella policies. And guys, I know this sounds really salesy, but it's so important that you guys have the right coverages. Because if you guys get in one accident and you hurt somebody, state of California can garnish your wages. How much, Selena? Like 20% or 25%? 25% for 20 years. For 20 years, right? And they will do it. 
imagine you guys <laughs> leave right now you're going with the client you get a wreck right and you have really low coverage because you want to save 20 bucks a month and now for the next 30 years of your life they're going to be garnishing those wages because they have a five hundred thousand dollar medical bill that you have to pay out on so this is what we do this is why our agency is different i'm not going to be here i'm not here to try and save you guys money i'm here to try and make sure you guys have the right coverage and hopefully we will save you money right so get your stuff in order especially making make money what's up brother i just have a quick question yes, how sir. easy is it, is it to switch like financial consulting if you're working with like a law every financial consultant already? yeah good question so that stuff is very simple most people um let's say your company your money's at a fidelity yeah we transfer your money is that fidelity? Yeah. is it really yeah. okay they suck but uh <laughs> no, 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 they're a good company uh, but yeah, you move it from one to another, and we assist you with everything. The only thing you got to do is say Paperwork, yes right? and sign. You know, say yes, yes and sign. Um, okay. Yeah, so it's very simple. Right? Cool. But hey, uh, so like I said, I'll have Andrea pass out a sheet to you guys in the next couple of days. If you guys want to get close, I really appreciate it. But did anyone get value from this today? Yeah. Hey, man, I really appreciate every one of you in here. Enrique really appreciates you guys. I want to make sure that sentiment is echoed from me to you guys because he talks about you guys a lot. Andrea loves working here, loves the people that are here. So just keep doing it. You guys are with a great company, and my sales job is done. I'm done with it. Any so, questions, guys, before he wraps up? Yeah, any other questions? Yes, bro. So, um, it's, so like he just said, you just made any portfolios as well, correct? Yeah. Well, okay. So, yes, that's what I do. I, I That's my forte. Yeah. But I'm an insurance, I'm a state farm agent. Yeah. But I do. So where do you portfolios. differ? So when do I come for you for all state and when do I come for you to manage my portfolio? Both. That's the difference. Out of 18,000 agents at State Farm, we're one of about 200 that actually have a registered, uh, not a registered rep, but a fiduciary in house. So see, that's my point. So the thing is, is you can come to us for anything. Okay, cool. So you say, hey, Stephen, I need you to manage. You know, I have a 401k I want you to manage. Or I have an IRA I want you to open. Or I have a life insurance policy here. I hate all state, you know? <laughs> yeah. Well, you hit it on the dot on two. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. Steve, so, what's a fiduciary? Okay, so I love you, bro. I love Rudy. Um, <laughs> a fiduciary is a, someone who is actually allowed by the federal government to actually manage or charge for the, their time. So it's not just like a registered, regular advisor. Like everyone throws out that name advisor. I don't know how I would compare it to like a real estate person. Well, yeah, so a real estate is a, yeah. agent is a fiduciary yeah. as well. Yeah. We have a fiduciary oh, duty. It's like, it's like yeah. if you hire a lawyer, right? Like oh. they have to see your best interest. Exactly. They can give you advice, but that also means they're held to a higher standard. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. Keep so, so like the point would be like, but the difference is, is there's no such thing as a junior realtor, right? There's just a realtor. Yeah, it's just right. a real in, in my business, you have I'm a financial advisor. That's fine. That's great, but that's not a fiduciary. Right. And so you want to do business with fiduciaries because if I do anything wrong here, I'm either in jail or I have no more license. Yeah. Period. And that's like it's dead serious, man. These people look at my bank accounts every six months. My personal bank accounts. Yeah. It's it's serious. It's serious. A serious business. So any other questions? Hey, thank you guys very much. Happy selling. And Enrique, thank you. We got some bacon back there. It was 20 bucks, man. So don't make me waste my money. I got a different <laughs> jalapeno, 